Hello friends, welcome. We have to find out the equation of the line which is midway between the parallel lines 9x plus 6y minus 7 equal to 0 and 3x plus 2y plus 6 equal to 0. Since we know that all these three lines are parallel to each other, I have, conv I have taken the equation of the line as 9x plus 6y plus k equal to 0. You observe that the third line is 3x plus 2y plus 6 with the same slope and parallel to them but not with the same coefficients as the first two. So I will try to convert that by multiplying with 3, multiplying with 3 will give us 9x plus 6y plus 18 equal to 0. Why we are doing this? Because Whenever you want to find out the distance between two parallel lines, you should have Ax plus By plus C1, C2, C3, but A and B should be the same for all of them. Now we will do it in most simple way. There are so many ways you can solve this. What we will do is, we will say that the distance between these two parallel lines should be equal to the distance between these two parallel lines. If, if 9x plus 6y plus k equal to 0 is midway in the middle of 9x plus 6y minus 7 equal to 0 and 9x plus 6y plus 18 equal to 0, then d1 should be equal to d2. This condition will give me the value of k. So let us first find out what is D1. What is the formula we have? The formula is C1 minus C2 mod of that divided by square root of A square plus B square where Ax, By plus C1, C2 are the two lines parallel to each other. Now first we want to find out the distance between the first and the second. So the formula will be C1 minus C2 can I say mod of minus 7 minus k divided by square root of 9 square plus 6 square equal to d2. d2 is the distance between the parallel lines 9x plus 6y plus k equal to 0 and 9x plus 6y plus 18 equal to 0. It will become again same formula c1 minus c2. So I will have k minus 18 divided by square root of 9 square plus 6 square. We can simplify that. It will become k plus 7 divided by root 117 equal to plus or minus k minus 18 divided by square root of 117. If we simplify, we will get the value of k. Now we can equate them. We have two options. One is k plus 7 equal to k minus 18, which is meaningless because kk cancels. You will have 25 equal to 0, which is not correct. So this is ruled out. I will have k plus 7 equal to 18 minus k. That will give me 2k equal to 11 or k equal to 11 by 2. So the value of k is 11 by 2. Once we know that we can directly substitute it and so the equation of the line which is in the midway of these two first and third line is 9x plus 6y plus k that is 11 by 2 equal to 0 or 18x plus 12y plus 11 equal to 0. Let me just summarize this how we have solved this. We have been asked to find out the line equation of the line which is between two parallel lines. So we know that line also should be parallel to these two lines. So I can safely go ahead and say the equation of that as 9x plus 6y plus k equal to 0. Now if this line is in midway between the first and third line, so the distance 
between the first and second parallel line and second and third parallel line should be equal then only the second line will be in the middle of first and third it will be in the midway of first and third so let us take those distances as d1 and d2 respectively we know d1 should be equal to d2 by simplifying we find out that k value is equal to 11 by 2 or the equation is 9x plus 6y plus 11 by 2 equal to 0 or 18x plus 12y plus 11 equal to 0. Now what is the other way you can solve this problem? You can try it out. First find out the distance between two parallel lines 9x plus 6y plus 18 and 9x plus 6y minus 7. You will get the distance. Now take half of that distance. Take suppose let us say the distance between let me check that the distance between them is equal to 18 minus of minus 7 25 by 9 square plus 6 square root 117 or can I say 3 root 13 so if to total distance is 25 by 3 root 13 d1 equal to d2 equal to 25 by 6 root 13 now Take a point on any one of these lines and equate the perpendicular distance from that point to 9x plus 6y plus k equal to 0 equal to 25 by 6 root 13. Based on that also you can find out the value of k. So there are more than one way how you can solve this problem. So in the next session we will see how to find out the area of parallelogram if we know the equations of the sides of the parallelogram how to find out the area so that we will see in the next session thanks for your time bye for now